Dove Cameron has stated in the past that she was bullied through her entire school experience, starting in fifth grade through the end of high school. Going through bullying is not only psychologically damaging, but it's usually also embarrassing. Regardless of the pressure at school and fitting in, she stayed focused on her dreams of becoming successful in entertainment, but along the way, she also had other very embarrassing moments. And today, we'll talk about all of them. Subscribe to Riveted and turn on the notification to get all the tea on all your favorite celebs. Also, for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card, comment with your most embarrassing moment. Most embarrassing performance. Dev Cameron dates her most embarrassing moment to a time when she was just eight years old. She was part of a community theater and they had a performance for which they had rehearsed for over four months. During the performance, there was a time when the whole ensemble was supposed to freeze for the lead singer to have her moment to shine. Dove posed like everybody else, but when she looked backstage, her best friend was cramping. Guess what Dove did? She started cramping on stage while everyone else was supposed to be frozen. To make matters worse, she laughed out loud when the entire auditorium was silently listening to the lead singer. In her defense, Dove Cameron said that she had done the freeze pose so many times, and at that time, during the performance, her mind just switched off. No, Dove, we are totally not buying that. Talk about stealing the spotlight. Of course, everyone's attention was drawn to Dove, and instead of the lead singer making the news, Dove Cameron was on the front page the next day. We tried looking for that particular paper, but it disappeared into thin air. You are lucky you grew up in a small town, Dove. Cheating Scandal Before Dove Cameron started dating Thomas Dougherty, she was dating Ryan McCartan. When they broke up, they both said that the decision was mutual, but three years later, the ex-boyfriend exposed Dove Cameron. Ryan took to Instagram story to participate in a Q&A, during which the actor was asked to share his proudest moment. In his response, Ryan accused his former fiancé of cheating on him. He said, within two weeks, my fiancé cheated on and left me. I almost died from food poisoning and Donald Trump was elected president. I truly didn't think I would be able to make it through that part of my life. I'm proudest of the light that came from the darkness. Cameron seemingly fired back at McCartan's cheating accusations via Twitter by writing, When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it, trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. It was a bit surprising that Ryan chose to talk about the alleged cheating after three years right before Dove Cameron's birthday. It was probably a publicity stunt, but it was also very embarrassing for Dove. Starstruck moment. Every year, the official start of award season is heralded by the Golden Globes, one of the few award ceremonies that celebrate movies and television in the same room. Not everyone gets to attend the Golden Globe Awards. If a name is on the guest list, it's either a coveted A-lister, a nominee, or someone's guest. Somehow, Dove Cameron got an invitation. When she was just about to walk the carpet, she was told to hold off for just a second, and Dove thought that there was some sort of carpet emergency. It turned out, the carpet emergency was the legendary Meryl Streep. Among other accolades, she has received 32 Golden Globe nominations, more than any other person, and won eight. Dove Cameron wanted to act like a normal person, but in that starstruck moment, she made a noise, took out her phone, and videotaped Meryl Streep doing nothing. She still has the video, but she's never posted it because it's just creepy. We're sure the other guests at the awards understood that the young star was simply starstruck. Braless selfie. A couple of months ago, Dove posted two sexy Instagram photos that showed her nipples. People immediately flooded the comments section with criticism about going braless. Most people who complained were parents who said that their children follow Dove and look up to her. They said that she needed to be a better role model and that she should stop posting sexualized selfies. Dove defended the post by saying that women have a history that has been systematically suppressed. Their collective spirituality has largely been tainted to fit the needs of men and those in power. According to Dove, this has a profound effect on the self-esteem of girls and the women they become, and they should be proud of who they are as women. Dove didn't think of the post as embarrassing at first, but after all the comments and backlash, she must have felt a bit embarrassed. That was hardly the first time that the actress spoke up in favor of sexy selfies. She has previously defended bikini pictures she's posted and publicly supported fellow Disney starlet Bella Thorne when she leaked her own nude photos before a hacker could do it, bashing Whoopi Goldberg on Twitter for shaming Thorne. Most embarrassing date. Dove and Thomas Dougherty's first date was amazing. Instead of taking place in a classy restaurant somewhere in LA, their first date was at a pancake cafe. It was one of those things where she was sat opposite Thomas, drenched because it was raining outside, and making terrible jokes that he was obliged to laugh at. That is when Thomas Dougherty fell completely in love with her. However, Dove's first dates have not always been that smooth and sweet. At one point in life, a boy asked her to a dance, and Dove didn't even know the guy. Since the guy was friends with Dove's friends, she thought, well, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Okay, Dovey, a lot can happen on first dates. Best case scenario, you end up falling for the guy like you did with Thomas. Worst case scenario, you end up hating yourself and the guy too. 
Let's just say that with Dove, the odds were not in favor of the best case scenario. She ignored the guy all night while at the dance because she thought he only asked her out to be nice. But when he grabbed her hand and looked at her, Dove realized that the guy actually liked her and wanted to dance. Unfortunately, the realization came too late and it was so embarrassing for her. D23 Expo, the largest Disney fan event in the world. D23 Expo celebrates all the wonderful worlds of the Walt Disney Company under one roof, including the best of Disney, Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars across film, television, theme parks, products, online, music, live entertainment, and more. During the event, Disney stars get to perform their songs from various movies and TV shows. For many stars, it's usually a chance to prove that they sound amazing even without the auto-tunes in the studios. One particular performance of Dove Cameron caught the attention of fans, which led to the speculation that she cannot sing live. Of course, people didn't expect her to sound exactly like the studio version, but fans noticed that the voice was a bit off. After the video made a couple of rounds, close friends said that Dove Cameron was sick during the performance, and others insisted that it was a confirmation that Dove Cameron cannot sing live. Either way, it was so embarrassing. That is not the kind of video Dove wants floating all over the internet. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt, though, because the songs she has released over the last few months are amazing. Let's wait on that tour to prove whether she's just as amazing doing live shows. Kissing Luke Benward most people know Dove Cameron from Liv and Maddie and Descendants, but Dove has participated in many other projects, including Cloud9. The movie tells the story of a girl who frequently snowboards and is forced to train with a guy, an ex-champion of the sport, after an unexpected event. However, she has to prove to him that she is a true professional. Dove played Kayla Morgan, the best female shredder in Summit Valley, who competes in a snowboarding challenge. Luke Benward landed the role of Will, the legendary ex-snowboarder. The project was one of Dove's favorite movies, but it is also where her most embarrassing kiss happened. Dove Cameron had to kiss Luke Benward at the audition to land her main role. Of course, it was very awkward and intimidating because they just met, and Luke was this huge guy, and Dove was this very tiny and shy girl. While she was psychologically preparing for the kiss, someone asked Dove if she needed gum, and she said yes. Then the person said they were joking. No, the kiss didn't go so well, even though the guy was so dreamy. At the end of it all, Dove still felt very intimidated and embarrassed. Most embarrassing Descendants moment. Fans are still waiting for another Descendants movie, even though it's highly unlikely that we'll get one anytime soon. The franchise was a big part of the stars' lives, and they still talk about their experiences to date, from the wonderful moments they had on set, the untimely demise of Cameron Boyce, and embarrassing moments while filming the franchise. Of course, there are usually many embarrassing moments while filming a movie, and Dove described the one that really got to her. She was shooting the clips for If Only in The Descendants, and they were in a forest somewhere. She was the only one needed for the scene, and there were only around 10 crew members with her. However, Kenny Ortega had invited the other cast members without telling Dove, and they had planned to scare her. In the middle of the shoot, Dove Cameron heard something approaching fast, and her instincts told her there was a large animal approaching. She tried to run, fell off the log, and when she looked up, the cast members were crying from laughter. So embarrassing. Fortunately for Dove, that behind-the-scenes footage never made it to the internet. Infamous Tattoo Dove Cameron has at least nine tattoos on her body, and each one of them has a special meaning. She has a sunshine tattoo, which she shares with her boyfriend, an ex to match her best friend's O, one that she shares with her mom and sister, a snake on her finger, and several others. Dove added a gun and a rose to her collection in December 2019, and it has a seriously touching meaning behind it. The tattoo is a tribute to her close friend and former Descendants co-star Cameron Boyce, who tragically passed away in July of 2019, but always talked about wielding peace instead of guns. Her hip tattoos are hard to spot since they're only visible when she's rocking a bathing suit. On one hip, Dove has the Capricorn sign. That was actually her first tattoo when she was 14, which was totally illegal. On her other hip, Dove has a Gemini sign, and this tattoo was courtesy of her ex-boyfriend. It's the exact mirror placement on her other hip from the first tattoo. Dove Cameron says that she doesn't regret getting it, but let's be honest, it must be pretty embarrassing to walk around with a tattoo of an ex-boyfriend, especially after they accuse you of cheating just two weeks after getting engaged. Dating Kenny Ortega Kenny Ortega has had many accomplishments over the years, including being the director and producer of hit movies like High School Musical 1, 2, and 3, Descendants 1, 2, and 3, The Cheetah Girls, and many more. He's close with many of the stars from the different shows, but fans felt that his relationship with Dove Cameron was a bit too close. People found their friendly embraces way too inappropriate, and some had claimed that Dove looked uncomfortable and scared when she was with him. On Instagram, one fan was forward enough to claim that Kenny was grabbing up on Dove in a particular photo. But Dove called the person out, saying that they had no basis for such a disturbing claim. Dove was in a relationship at the time, and Kenny has been openly gay for years. She also clarified that the famous director and choreographer is like a father to her, which would explain why she's so comfortable around him. As much as many people agreed that Kenny Ortega was not a predator, they also thought that it was a bit unprofessional of Kenny to hold her like that. With everything going on in Hollywood, fans are always sensitive when such things come up, especially when we're talking about Disney which is the home of so many innocent young stars. The allegations eventually fizzled out, but it must have been very embarrassing to address the issue. 
Very embarrassing moments, right? Which is the worst? Let us know and check back tomorrow for another amazing piece. This has been Riveted.